There's lots happening there in South America. All the socialists uh, all around the world. You're gonna, we're going to be talking to Ralph Schul, uh, make later in the show, Schulhammer, about uh, what's happened in Holland. The socialists <coughs> have taken a hiding there in Spain and so on. Also, we'll be looking at what is happening with uh, the hostages, which have been released. But let's start off with one of the most grotesque things that I've seen in Australian politics in a long time, and that is... Maureen Faruqi. Need I say more? Here she is, photographed standing next to the most vile anti-Israeli poster. Let's have a look at that, Rita. Yeah, the, the astonishing thing here is not just that that poster exists in 2023 in Australia, that a Greens senator would pose in front of it, that she would then herself post that image on her own social media pages. And just explain so to it, it, people this, who haven't seen it what, what the girl next to her is holding. This wasn't some sort of a setup. Well, let's have a look at the picture. She's uh, got a picture of a busy This was a protest at Town Hall in Sydney it, on yeah. Friday. And uh, as you can see, uh, if, if we zoom in there, it's basically uh, saying, you know, the Jewish state should not exist. It should be... It's saying living. worse. It's, it's, it's saying keep the world clean and, keep put, the word cl well, keep, yeah. keep and put Israel... In, in, the rubbish bin. in the rubbish bin. Now, I mean, this just goes to show how the Greens Party is so shot through with the most virulent anti-Israeli sentiment that they would think that this was a perfectly acceptable thing to put up there. Well, but it's oh, a no, child it's a, holding it's it. It's a child it's holding okay. it. But, 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 but Maureen Faruqi it. posted on. on her Instagram. And the thing that I'm reminded of here is, you know, do you remember how Tony Abbott was you know, beaten yes. up all over the media because he appeared at a, uh, at a, at a uh, rally and somebody else was holding a ditch the witch sign about Julie Gillard and they lambasted Tony Abbott and from one end of the media to the other. Yeah, and he didn't even see the sign. This was behind him. He didn't post he it didn't on his social it. media. He didn't see it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He didn't, he he didn't post it. Yeah. Somebody else is doing it. He had no association. Mm -hmm. He didn't put their, his arm around. Anyway, Maureen Faruqi knew exactly what she was doing and she attended this anti-Israel rally, which would have been full of people who supported Hamas. You know that this whole, these rallies are not, you know, about Zionism or peace or any of that sort of thing. There's so, such an element in these rallies, in these protests. You know, we saw that at the very start of the conflict after Hamas massacred over a thousand Israelis before Israel had fired a shot in retaliation. They were down at the Opera House screaming gas the Jews. Yep, you know, absolutely. that's what this it's is about. Disgusting. And well, uh, Sarah Henderson, the uh, 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 senator from Victoria, Liberal Party, uh, she brought this to our attention last night. Uh, seriously, Maureen Faruqi should be punted out of Parliament. I mean, this is just disgusting. It's not good enough to just delete the tweet. Uh, this is a schoolgirl holding up a sign basically saying that Jews should be, all be put in the rubbish bin. It's racist beyond belief. It, <coughs> uh, it, it, it's verging on genocidal. It is a hate crime. It is inciting hatred. And a senator, a Green senator, is standing there happily alongside children. I'll be talking later in the show about the abuse of children that we have seen by the left in this country with all these pro-Palestine uh, marches and, and what that though, entails. Marine Faruqi must go. The Senate must demand that she goes. It is an absolute disgrace. Well, she had the walkout. She led all of the Greens in the walkout. Let's not forget, it's not just her. When she stood up and had her tantrum in the upper house and then got up and walked out, every single Greens senator followed her. So this problem is not limited to one person. There's a problem within the Greens. There's a problem within the left. And I think the one small positive coming out of this uh, ordeal is that there are a lot of people, including in the Jewish community, who are realising that the, the people that they've stood by who thought they were allies are nothing of the sort. 100%.